Hello, everybody. Uh, another uh, amazing band, which I love to find bands in Brazil because there's so many. Uh, this is Anselmo. And Anselmo, tell me what the name of your band is and where you're located in Brazil. Hello, everyone. I would like to thank you, Ryan, for the opportunity for us to talk a bit about my band and the surf music in Brazil also. So I started this project many years ago, trying to create surf, surf tracks for soundtracks for surf videos, to be very specific. And then in 2017, I recorded uh, an album with my friend, Jinho Garcia, which is the best player and the producer of the studio. He recorded in his studio here in Santos, in Brazil. And in the, the year after, in 2018, we released this first album, which is the Mad Howlies. We have 10 songs, all, all, only instrumental songs. Mm -hmm. And all of these songs were figured out in surf movies, TV programs, and also tournaments. There's a tournament in California called the Surf Relic. Oh. They, they compete the progressive and the classic longboard in, in one tournament. And it happens in Malibu and in Trestles. So between 2018 and 19, our songs figured out on the official videos of the tournament. So it really? was very satisfying. It was something amazing. And nine of these songs also are, are pres are, they, they make part of the soundtrack of a surf movie from a surfer here from Brazil, which is Picuruta Salazar, a long border known worldwide. And this film, this movie, uh, he, he was here in Brazil, also in Portugal, in festivals, surf movie festivals. And it's very satisfying to be our songs, you know, being heard worldwide. Yeah. And tomorrow we'll be completing the first month of the release of the second album, which is called Surfer's Paradise. And we record, recorded 13 new songs. We have instrumental songs. We have songs with vocals. We are trying to reach new horizons. Yeah, you have surf and punk on the new stuff, right? Yes. And we try to, to get this idea of the surf rock that Dick Dale created. And we try to, to, to see as a modern way. We try to make a modern sound of the, the surf music. What it could sound Dick Dale nowadays, the surfaris yeah. and these bands. So we try also to, to mix with other influences. So the best player, he likes reggae a lot. So he brings to our band some of these influence. I also like uh, rock, band, rock bands and in other styles. I, I like a lot the, the folk and acoustic Hawaiian songs. So I bring to the project some of, you know, the, the acoustic lap steel, the solid lap steel. We try to, to experiment sounds of of different amps, different guitars that are not so common on surf music, yeah. but uh, always with the tremolo bridge, <laughs> which yeah, is, yeah. <laughs> we <laughs> don't negotiate it. <laughs> so show us, show us the, both of the live steals that you have there and, and Here how it's been the song. Here in my hands, I have this Gibson from the fifties. And he, he looks like he came from a time machine because he's so, so well preserved. I guess that's the right word to say. And it sounds amazing. It, it, it feels like that we are hearing from the instruments the same sound from the recordings, from the vinyls from the long decades ago. And I really appreciate this instrument. I use a lot, most for recording, but it sounds simply amazing. And I have also this one. I have two 
acoustic lap steels, which is called the Weizenborn, because it has a square neck, so it's hollow until here. Wow. And it sounds like the acoustic guitar, but with the difference of the that we play with the slide bar in our left hand, in my case, left hand. So we slide through the strings and it sounds amazing. Also, I really like the Bob Brasman sounds. I love his albums. And because of him, I play this instrument and it's, you know, the the main influence that I have in, in lap steel, the acoustic, the solid lap steel, I really appreciate what David Gilmore does. I also like, for example, David Lindley and many, many other guys from folk, from country, from the Hawaiian songs and from rock songs also. Excellent. That's a, uh, I never, I never saw a, a, an acoustic lap steel. Um, maybe perhaps you can send us a video of you playing it. Sure. That'd be excellent. Now I sure, see behind, yes. I see behind you you have uh marshals, but the, the I don't recognize the one in the middle. Yes, I have a, a plexi, a Marshall plexi, and below I have a Mesa Boogie Duo Rectifier, which is an amp that it's not common to use in surf music. Definitely it's not common because it has a powerful distortion and overdrive, but we try to find our sound on these amps and other amps. We yeah. also used Orange Amps, which has a, an overdrive, an amazing overdrive. And we, we get this help from pedals to reach for the influences of the surf music, a, a good reverb pedal. Uh, I also love delay pedals, which is also not so common in surf music, but we try to make our view of the surf rock, trying to bring modern influences. We like many bands, many different styles. Also, the drummer, the the vocalist, they everybody brings their influences, and we try to to make our own sound. Awesome, awesome. So, um, before we leave. Uh, I'd like you to give you an opportunity to say something or maybe mention something I haven't asked about. Well, I'd like to, to thank you a lot for the opportunity, uh, for the space, for us to talk a bit of me, of my friends from the band, from the instruments also. I would just like to invite everyone who is watching to hear Mad Howley's on the platforms on YouTube, Spotify, Deezer, and to hear Surfer's Paradise, which is, uh, you know, uh, we play from reggae to ska, from rock to acoustic songs. So it's, uh, we travel through many styles. We would like to people to hear and to interact with us, say what you like, what you don't like, we really, really love to be in contact with people. And thank you a lot for the opportunity. Thank you so much, Insomo. Uh I really like your enthusiasm and uh, your, your your very positive attitude. And uh, it's something I really appreciate when I talk to somebody. Um, and uh, I suggest everybody check uh, Matt Hills out and... Um, I really enjoyed finding your music and uh, I, I, I'd i like to pass on that I found your band through uh, Leopoldo from Reverb Brazil. He, yeah, our friend, our beloved friend who make us this contact. Yes, he's, uh, he's, he's quite a gentleman, yes. He is. Okay, you have a great night now.